Hey, it's Luxury Fred, and this is the 2021 Mini Countryman John Cooper Works All Four. In this video, I'm gonna give you a detailed tour of the interior of the Countryman John Cooper Works and talk about and show you all the specific options this car comes with. Okay, so let's take a detailed look inside the 2021 Mini John Cooper Works Countryman All Four. And the main option that this Mini has is called Iconic Trim. It's a $7,000 option. You can uh, see you have really cool John Cooper Works uh, sports seats with uh, hard backs. Very, very comfortable. I think I've mentioned I've taken this on a couple road trips, uh, including a couple thousand miles from LA to Tucson and back. And uh, very comfortable. No back pain, no neck pain, nothing like that. I really like that. In sports seats, okay. So starting over here, window controls, mirror controls, you can fold the mirrors in, which is cool. Nice little luxury feature there. Do have two unused buttons there. Not sure what they're for. Uh, lighting controls there, um, instrument panel lighting there. Something I don't like, and maybe it's a setting on this car, is so if I'm sitting here and I've got passengers in the car and I open my door it doesn't universally unlock the car so if I open my door and then I go to get the dog out of the back for example that isn't open from the outside moving on on the steering wheel you do have these cool paddle shifters you do have your John Cooper works kind of racing rally wheel, leather wrapped with, uh, again, this really nice uh, red stitching that you'll see throughout the interior. You have your cruise control over here, uh, radar adaptive cruise control, uh, works very well on the freeway. Again, on those long road trips, it was great to use that. Your infotainment controls over here, your, um, windshield washers and stuff like that. I like how you can turn the um, vents on and off just by twisting that. You do have that BMW universal lock or universal unlock. You just push that button and it locks everything or it unlocks everything. Um, moving down, you have your typical or your iconic mini round uh, you know, control center here where you have all your uh, controls for infotainment and stuff like that. It's also a touch screen so you can touch whatever you want. Lots of information, lots of stuff in the infotainment system. Very good. Uh, moving up here you have your lighting and your sunroof controls as well as your SOS control which is uh, you know to call for help with the mini connect or whatever they call it. You do have um, heads up display which interestingly pops up and down so if you turn the car off it pops down and then when you turn the car back on it reappears I have been trying to figure out how to raise or lower the image uh, I haven't been able to figure that one out on my own yet um, you do have your metal pedals down there you know extra sporty John Cooper work style I really like this uh, dashboard with the, the red accent here and the shiny uh, black color. Your climate controls are here. Uh, you don't have four zones, uh, but you do have vents back there. Uh, all this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. This turns the parking sensors on and off, the engine auto start on and off, start stop for the engine is this cool switch, traction control off, and then this is your drive mode setting. You have three drive modes on the Mini. You have a sport mode, a mid mode, and a green mode, which are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, sport mode is really, really great on this. Really huge, huge, huge difference between sport mode and green mode, trust me. Uh, moving on, you have your, I think it's an 8-speed transmission. Uh, interestingly, I always like to research where cars are made. The Mini, a typical iconic British car brand, this Mini is built in the Netherlands. The engine is built in Germany. The transmission is built in Japan. 
and about 15% of the parts do come from Great Britain. Just a interesting thing for you. You have again that red stitching here and then you do have a sport mode so this is now in park, that's in drive. If I move it to the left that puts it in sport mode. Again huge difference in the performance of this car in sport mode of the transmission compared to the regular mode. So if you really want to have fun you put it in sport mode for the overall drive mode and you put this in sport mode and it is a blast to drive then you can also do that and then it becomes manual and you can shift it up and down down here or again you can use the paddle shifters you have your little controls here for your infotainment this is also kind of a joystick in addition to being a wheel that you can turn and then all that stuff is self-explanatory you have two little compartments for storage you have this one uh, up top which I guess has your phone uh, connector and even holds your phone there I like that it's got like a thing that moves back and forth so you can put your phone there I would think maybe that's wireless charging I will double check and put a graphic up and then you can put this whole thing up and then you have a little area down here Unfortunately, if you look in the window, you can see into this, so it's not super secure. And then uh, the Mini does have the USB-C connectors. Uh, you can see the one there. You have uh, Mini USB-C in the back. And then you do have one old school, as you might say, USB connector uh, up there. You have your 12 volt power there. And then you have uh, a little storage space and of course your cup holders. And let me just show you the seat control since I'm doing a detailed tour. So you have a uh, like a thigh bolster that comes out like that. You put the seat back and forth with a old school metal lever here. You lift that up and then it goes back and forth. And then uh, it took me a while to find this. So this puts the seat kind of up and down. So you kind of crank that down and it puts it down and you crank it up and it kind of raises the seat up and down. Um, and then this, which for some reason is kind of hard to find when the seat belt is there, this is what puts the, the rear part of the seat uh, forwards and backwards. Let's take a look in the back. Okay, taking a look at the back seat, and of course this Mini Countryman does have four doors. Some Minis only have two. And you have uh, a very comfortable back seat. Again, with this really nice red stitching and the suede inserts and really, really nice. Uh, you do have uh, additional vents and two additional USB hookups back here. Again, those are the new standard, the USB-C connections. And then because this is a very small car, it's very functional and you can do a lot with this back seat. So first of all, of course, you have this uh, center thing. Now you have a 60-40 rear seat here. So you can just pull that and then you have a pass-through there, okay? But what you can also do, hold on, I'm gonna put the camera down. And then, you, it's a 60-40 rear seat, so you can also fold it down like this. You just pull this down, and the seat goes down like that. And then I'll, I'll show you the back in a second. So you can see the seat goes down, and then that's the other 60%, and that folds down as well. But the cool thing is that in addition to the seats, the back seats going down, these back seats go back and forth laterally like the front seats do. So there is a lever down here and I have to put the camera down for a second. If I pull up the lever then I can slide that seat forward. Okay? So you see how much more forward this side is than the other side? So I can slide that forward and that gives me more space in the back. Another touch here, you do have your John Cooper Works uh, foot plates there in the back as well. Oh, and the other thing to show you is you do have a very large sunroof, one of those two-part sunroofs with one part back there. 
and the other part up there. So let me show you the back, the little cargo area. First, you do have a power lift tailgate. If you push that. And again, this is what makes the Countryman different is you have this cargo area behind the rear seats. The other minis don't give you that. So that's what I think makes this a wonderfully functional car. So you can see the uh, cargo area here. Um, you can see I have that one rear seat pushed forward and then the other one is back but you can fit you know some luggage back here or camping gear and stuff like that uh, you have two little storage areas on either side you have your owner's manual back here and you do have a 12 volt power source um, you can't really put the seats back or up from back here though uh, and then this of course this little security cover is removable and then you have a power closing tailgate and I like this if you push this it closes it if you push this it closes it and locks the whole car so if you put something away you don't have to relock the car I like that one button operation okay then here's a look with the seats down so you have a decent amount of storage space back there 